yesterday we have started statics chapter number 6 in that statistics we can be learn practice set 6.1 so how many problems in their practice set 6.1 that we learn all the problems and what are the homework given that all of our students are sending so we are going to learn practice set 6.2 so what is the in practice set 6.2 we are learn means we are going to learn question number 1 and question number 2 only so what are with the question number 1 so see the following table shows classification number of workers and number of hours the work in software company find the median the number of hours they work okay so what they are given to see here so they are given to you that there is the workers that workers are working software companies so the at work column there is the workers and another columns the workers are work how many time that time period is given in another column okay so with help of that you want to uh, calculate the median of this so how can we calculate the median of this see here so first we can see the question so here is the question is given to you it is the daily number of hours may how many uh, times or how many hours the workers have been work that is given here so see 8 to 10 hours working worker are 150 means that 150 workers can work 8 to 10 hours Afterwards, 10 to 12 hours workers are 500. I mean that workers can work 10 to 10 hours. Sorry, 10 to 12 hours. So they are working from 10 to 12 hours. So that much workers are 500. Then workers can work 12, 12 to 14 hours. So 12 to 14 hours workers can work 300. So 300 workers can work 12 to 14 hours. Then last one this is the 14 to 16 so 14 to 16 hours workers can work that 50 students 50 workers can work 14 to 16 hours such a way here is the number of hours of work and number of workers that table is given to you and with help of that table you have to find out the median okay so we can make a frequency table to find out the median so here is in the frequency table i have already explained that first is always class so class what is that class having daily number of hours so that is calculated in hours h so this is the 8 to 10 hours this is the class so that class lower limit 8 upper limit 10 interval class interval class width and class difference 10 to 8 whatever it may be then 10 to 12 the Lower limit 10, upper limit 12, and class difference is 2 hours. Then another 14 to 12 means 11 to 14. So 11 now sorry 12. 12 to 14. So 12 to 14. The lower limit is 12 and upper limit is 14. Then another class 14 to 16. So the lower limit is 14 and upper limit is 16. Such a way. this classes is given to you and we are check that class whether that class is continuous class or not continuous class so you want to find out how you can know that the class is continuous because see the first class is ended at 10 but second is started from 10 second is ended at 12 but third is started from 12 third is ended at 14 but it is started from 14 such a way the class can be in the continuous manners this class is having in continuous form because there is a no gap in two class that is become 8 to 10 then 10 to 12 then 12 to 14 then 14 to 16 such a way this class is continuous class are you understand it and you can find out the height means the class difference that is the 8 minus 8 2 so then frequency is given to you that is just see then the last form that 8 to 10 hours workers working 150 workers okay 150 to 
12 hours workers can work 500 10 to 12 hours workers work uh, is a uh, 500 workers can be work then 12 to 14 workers 300 14 to 16 workers 50 such a way this frequency is given to you then with help of that frequency we can find out the cumulative frequency so that cumulative frequency is less than time and another is more than time so here is the less than time so here is we write cumulative frequency less than so this cumulative frequency in short form is called cm so whatever with the frequency of first class given that is right as it is so see 150 150 is the frequency of first class so that is right 150 as it is then what is the frequency of the another class the second class frequency is 500 so 500 plus 150 you can add this 500 in 150 so 500 plus 150 what you get 500 plus 150 650 so here is i write 650 are you understand how can you get here 650 if some of the students are confused you are uh, again explaining that see the class first 8 to 10 that frequency is 150 okay so that 150 frequency remain as it is afterwards there is the another class that frequency is 500 so this 500 is added to 150 so this 500 is added to 150 then you get 650 okay so here is we write 650 then this 650 is added to 300 so this 650 is added to 300 then you get 950 okay then this 950 is added to 50 then you get 1000 such a way you are getting these frequency tables are you understand how can make this frequency table so see it is the thousand so whatever be the frequency you are getting that is divided whatever be the frequency you are getting that is divided by two so it is thousand so thousand means is the frequency it is called as n capital n so it is the frequency it is n but n upon two we can find out n upon two so one thousand divided by two so one thousand divided by two what you get 500 because 1000 is divided by 2 then you get 500 so which frequency is near of 500 that is you are finding the cumulative frequency that in cumulative frequency which frequency is near of 500 say this is the 650 remember that whatever be the n upon 2 you are getting that frequency is uppermost frequency you are taken don't take the frequency which is less than that suppose there is the you are getting 500 and if here is having 450, then you don't take 450. You can take frequency which is greater than 500. So here is or 500. So here is the cumulative frequency you are getting 650. So this is the n upon 2, the cumulative frequency is 650. So I have taken this class as a median class. So see, 10 to 12, it is the median class. Why it is the median class? Because this 650 is near of n upon 2. This 650 frequency is nearest to the n upon 2. So it is nearest to n upon 2. So this is frequency 500. It is called as the frequency and median class because this 500 having which class? 10 to 12. So 10 to 12 it is the median class. So it is called median class. Are you understand? So 650 is nearest. So this frequency is called as the frequency f. This is called the median frequency. So that median frequency is 10 to 12. So L is the lower limit. So it is the lower limit of the class is 10. So L is equal to what you get 10. Are you understand? C. N 1000. 1000 divided by 2. 1000 is equal to N. N. So N upon 2. So 1000 divided by 2. 1000 divided by 2 you get 500. So which is the nearest of 500? 650. So 650 is the nearest of 500. So here is our right 650. So this class, which class? That is the median class. So 10 to 12. This is the median class. So I write here median class. Okay. Then this is the frequency F. So this uppermost frequency is called as the CF. The so this is the 500 is the frequency. So uppermost frequency is called as the CF. So what is that? This is the 150. So 150 is the cumulative frequency. CF. Are you understand? Up to this, see, this is 650 nearest, so frequency is 500.
10 to 12, lower limit is L is equal to 10, then this frequency is the 500 we are getting. So, uppermost frequency is called CF. So, this 150 is called as the CF, this is the cumulative frequency. Anyone doubts here? Then we can see the another. So, here is written that summation of Fi is equal to that is the N. So, here is written N is equal to total frequency that N is equal to summation of Fi is equal to 1000. So, how can we get 1000? You can see there in this chart. Okay. Then, N upon 2 that you want to find out. So, see, here is N upon 2. So, what is N? N is the 1000 divided by 2. 2 is divided 1000, what you get? 500. So, here is, you are getting 500. So, cumulative frequency which is greater than 500, which is that, the cumulative frequency we want to find out. But that cumulative frequency must be greater than 500. It is not smaller than 500. That must be having greater than 500. So, the cumulative frequency greater than 500 is 650. So, here is our right 650. Are you understand? So, this is the cumulative frequency. So, 650, whatever be the class of that, the class is 10 to 12. So, this 10 to 12 class is called the median class. It is the median class. Then we are going ahead. So, this is the median class. So, this is the lower limit. So, lower limit is 10. So, this is L is equal to 10. Frequency F is equal to 500. This is the frequency of the median class. So, L is equal to 500. Then CF, the cumulative frequency, upper position of the uh, frequency you are taken up. So, 500, upper portion cumulative frequency 150. So, there is CF is equal to 150. Difference between that class, that is the 2, so H is equal to 2. Anyone doubts here in this? Are you having any doubts? Then we are going to formula. So, median, going to find out median. So, median is equal to L plus N upon 2 minus C F upon F into H. Okay. Anyone doubts here? This is the L means lower limit. So, that is the 10 we are substituted here. N upon 2 is the 500, it's real, here is show, N upon 2 is 500, so here is written 500, minus CF, cumulative frequency, so cumulative frequency is 150, so here is written 150, then frequency F, F is equal to what, so that is the 500, so frequency is 500 written here, into H, H is the height, means the difference between the class, which class, lower limit and upper limit, that difference, so, lower limit and upper limit difference is called as H. So, this is 2 here. Are you understand? Then we are substituted the value. L is equal to 10. So, L is equal to 10. This plus sign can be carried as it is. N upon 2 is the 500. So, I write here 500. Minus sign carry as it is. CF is equal to 150. So, here is write 150. Then F is equal to 500. Into H. H is equal to 2. Anyone doubts here, then see, 500 minus 150, 350. So, this 10 carry as it is. This plus sign carry as it is. 500 minus 150. What you get? 350. So, here is 350. 350 upon 500 into 2. Okay. So, see, this 0, this 0 cancel. We are divided and what you get? Just see. So, this 2 is divided to 500. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s two are 4, so 5 minus 4 1, so 2 2s two are 4, so here is 2, 5 minus 4 1, right at the side of 0, then it will become 10, 2 5s are 10, 5, 2 0 0, 2 50, such a way you are getting 2 50, so numerator is 3 50, and denominator is 2 50, so this 0, this 0 going to SL1, means they are cancelled, they are 0 0 are cancelled, so whatever remains 35 upon 25, so see here, so, that is divided, 25 is divided to 35, then you get 1.5, 1.4. So, 1.4 is the answer when it is divided. So, 10 plus 1.4, 10 plus 1, 11, 11.4. So, here is the right 11.4. So, this is the median of the class. Anyone doubts how can I find out median of the class? So, this is the 11.4, it is the hours. Okay. I think that you are understand this problem. Anyone having doubts, then ask me. Then we are going to learn problem number second. 
that is the frequency distribution table shows the number of mango trees there is shows number of mango trees in a group and their yield of mangoes find the median of the data so we can go to see the problem what is the problem given to us and that problem can be displayed on a screen you can see easily so there is the in the first column they are given number of mangoes so in the first column they are given number of mangoes so see this is 50 to 100 then how many 50 to 100 i mean how many trees 33 then 100 to 150 30 trees the sorry here is 50 to 100 33 trees 50 to 100 33 trees then 100 to 150 30 trees 150 to 200 90 trees 200 to 250 80 trees 250 to 300 70 trees anyone doubts so that is given so there is no problem so with help of that we can make a frequency distribution table so here we are making frequency distribution tables so in the first always remember class so this is the class but this class is what about so this class is mango so there is written number of mangoes see there is written class and in bracket written number of mangoes so i write here number of mangoes so first class is 50 to 100 so here is written 50 to 100 so frequency number of trees fi so this is 33 that is given to you how can you get it is not necessary because that is given to you so 50 to 100 we are write here 33 so cumulative frequency is also 33 so that cumulative frequency type is given less than type okay so when they are given less than type so which is the uppermost frequency that is less smaller than second frequency second frequency is smaller than third frequency third frequency is smaller than fourth frequency fourth frequency is smaller than fifth frequency that is called cumulative frequency less than are you understand the meaning of cumulative frequency less than the meaning is that the first frequency is smaller than second second is smaller than third third is smaller than fourth fourth is smaller than fifth so this is called cumulative frequency less than type any one doubt here less than types are you understand the meaning of less than type less than types means the frequency of the first class is a smaller okay is a smaller than second second is smaller than third third is smaller than fourth Fourth is smaller than fifth. Okay. So this is thirty-three. So thirty-three plus this thirty. Thirty plus thirty-three is sixty-three. So I write here sixty-three. Sixty-three plus ninety. So you are getting one hundred and fifty-three. One hundred and fifty-three plus eighty. So you are getting two hundred and thirty-three. Okay. Two hundred and thirty-three plus seventy. So you are getting two fifty. Such a way. So summation of frequencies. Mean column first to last. We can do the additions of all the frequencies. So 33 plus 30, 63. 63 plus 90, 153. 153 plus 80, 233. 233 plus 17, 250. Are you understand? Such a way we are counting frequency. Summation means you are counting frequency first column to last column. You are counting frequency from first column to last column. So this is called as the frequency means the uh, summation of frequency so when we are doing some of them then we will see that it is the 250 so here is your solve here it is also getting 250 if you are having problem how can you get see 250 then i again explain see this 33 carry i that is so 33 plus this 30 you are getting 63 63 plus 90 you are getting 153 153 plus 80 You are getting 233, 233 plus 70. You are getting 250. Is that clear? So frequency is fi summation of fi is equal to 250. Then what can you do? You can do half of them. So that is called n upon 2. So this 250 divided by 2, 2 into 4, 2 to the 4, 5 minus 4 1, 2 pi to the 10. So it is 125. So here is here the total frequency summation of a pi is equal to 250. Summation of a pi is equal to 250. So here is n upon 2. So 250 upon 
is equal to we are getting 100 fi is 250 so we want to find out the value of n upon 2 so here is the right value of n upon 2 so n is 250 divided by 2 2 ones are 2 1 is here 2 2 are 4 1 is here remains so 2 pi is 10 so we are getting 125 this is n upon 2 we are getting 125 then Cumulative frequency which is just greater than 125. So which is that? The cumulative frequency which is greater than 155. So that you only see here. So the cumulative frequency is greater than 125 that you want to find out. So see, the cumulative frequency greater than 125 is 153. Okay, because greater than 125, so greater than 125 is 153, it is nearest, not a 233 is nearest, so remember that 153 is nearest, so it is the cumulative frequency, so what is the class of that, so it is the cumulative frequency, so uppermost frequency is called CF, so this is called CF, okay, CF is 63, so 153 is the cumulative frequency, so which is the frequency of this 90? So 90 is the frequency. Then go ahead, which is the class? The class is 150 to 200. Okay, this is the class. So class is 150 to 200. So 150 is the lower limit and 250 is the upper limit. So L is equal to 150. Are you understand? What is the difference between each class? 100 minus 50, 50. 150 minus 100, 50. 200 minus 150, 50. 250 minus 250. 300 minus 250, 50. Such a way that each, every class there is a 50 difference. Is that clear? Then, the frequency, so this is the 150 and 200, this is the median class. So, the lower limit is 150. So, it is equal to 150. Frequency is 90. Cumulative frequency of this is CF, is 63. So, with help of that, you can find out the median of the class. So, this is all I explain you 150 how, 50, 90 how, 60 how and 50 how. Okay. Then I am going to solve this problem. Median. Median is equal to L plus N upon 2 minus F divided by F in pitch. So what is the L? L is 150. So I write here 150. Plus carry as it is. N upon 2. N upon 2 is equal to 125. So here is substituted n upon to 125 minus cf 63 upon h f is equal to what 90 okay into h 50 such a way we are substituting the value there so see 150 n upon to 125 minus carry as it is cf 63 so i write 63 frequency f 90 so i write 90 into h h is equal to 50 is that clear so 150 carry as it is, 125 minus 63, so 125 minus 63, what is remain? 62, so 62 upon 90 into 50, so I write here 50, this 0, this 0 cancel, so what can you get just see, so 90 is divided to 62 and what will be the answer getting, that answer multiplying 50, then you get 34.4. So 150 plus 34.4, 150 plus 34.4, that is the median. So 184.4, it is the median of the R, mangoes. So mangoes are not in decimal points. So you cannot say that I am at 184.4 mangoes. It is not possible. So after decimal point is the 4 number. So remember that. After decimal point there is 5 or greater than 5. So you can cancel this but you can add here 185 become when when here is 5 or greater than 5. Means after decimal point if there is a 5 and greater than 5 then that 5 you are cancel and you are add here. But here is after decimal point if number is smaller than 5 then, then what can you do number is smaller than 5 then that number is cancelled and you write the num answer 
which is before the decimal point. So before the before before the decimal point, there is the 184.4, but this four is smaller than five, so this four is cancelled. So we are getting answer 184. I think that you are understand is all the two questions which is learned today. So problem number one and problem number two. Only two problems we can learn because if you are taken more than that, then you are not understand this problem very well. So we are taken two problem, three problem. That is only reason that all my students are understand these problems very well. Okay. So again, I am say that if you like this channel, then you are subscribe the channel. So you are subscribe channel. You are subscribe and. You are another friends which is study 10 standard. You are share this video to that stand student and say that subscribe this channel. Okay, have a nice day. Good day. Bye. So I want to give you homework that is the bag. So see here is the homework on a screen. So that homework is given to you. This is two problem is given for homework because these problems are same only write the formula and solve. So this is the first homework travel problem. This is the first homework problem. Then it is the second homework problem. So such a way there is the two homework problem is given to you. I hope that all my sincere students can solve this problem very easily and send to me my WhatsApp number. Let you know very well. Okay, bye.